Welcome to episode two of What's Cool in China? <laughs> you had to think about that for a second. We finally made it to episode two. It's been a long journey. Now we're drinking, we busted out the old Spanish. It's called old Spanish. Fantastic drink, fine vintage, great wine, right? We're here to bring you the best of what's cool in China, what's going viral, what's hip and what's awesome, right? Yes. Great. So today we're talking about movies. But China gets allotted a few foreign movies per year, depending on where you live. Right now, the two biggest movies are what? It's The Garden of the Galaxy, and there's another one is... Interstellar. Now, sci-fi movies seem to be the most popular foreign films in China. I'm not quite sure why, but Chinese people kind of have an affinity for the future and what's next. It kind of ties into the fact that China mostly focuses on moving forward or stuff that's changing, stuff that's modern. It's also because they don't get any of the good raunchy adult films that we like in the West. Absolutely. Some films are censored in China, right? Mm, yeah. In what films do they usually pick, especially if they mention what? China. If they mention China, you are guaranteed to get into theaters, right? Mm -hmm. Interstellar is probably the biggest movie out right now. Mm -hmm. As a Chinese person, why did you like it? Interstellar is the one I The one where the guy has to leave the dying earth to go save his family. We just saw it in the movie. Uh, yeah, theater. yeah. I think I don't know why people like it. Though. It actually reminds me of the the movie called Gravity, and but the good thing is the happy ending. I thought the guy at the end died or something, but he's not. It's like combined a lot of different... I don't know. I don't know how to talk about it. Get back up here. Big in the news as well is Guardians of the Galaxy. You guys have probably already seen it. It's been out for ages, but another massive, massive film in China. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of hubbub about the most attractive or the most romantic character in the movie. And if you guys follow any sort of Chinese dating shows, maybe you don't. There's one called Fei Chang Wu Rao. And basically, a bunch of women get up on stage and a man comes out and has to choose the one that he likes and see if they like him back. And they walk away as a couple. It's kind of fast food dating. It's absolutely ridiculous. A lot of judgment goes into choosing a partner here in China. A lot of women actually were saying like the best boyfriend and the best husband group is the tree man. <laughs> Why? Because it actually leaves out 18 of the reason. First is because he's tall. I'm tall too. The second is he only speak three words. So even when you argue, you always win. The third one is like, girl, it's kind of a shy kind of person. But actually in the reality show, girls will Girls will actually prefer the loud, confident guy. I don't know why in the reality show those girls' ideal men, actually it's in like, it's against each other. A like, girl can make a lot of like romantic trick. For example, um, flower, he can give you a flower. Can he make a tear meow? No matter when, he always <laughs> There, he always protecting you. Since he's tall enough, he can clean up every single corner. As tall as this? Long as this. <laughs> Long as Girls usually are whiny and unreasonable when you get to that point. Well, you're gonna piss off a lot of women out there. Vivi's no feminist, but she is a strong girl. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah! Girls will always be there, listen to you no matter how long you talk. So those are the reasons that Groot is the most attractive man. Are you trying to say that a tree man is more attractive than the actual human beings in the movie? Yes. What does that make me? Ah. Uh... Don't say a word. Please love me. Uh... Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in to episode two of What's Cool in China? Like, sub, comment, don't dislike. Wait, if I say that, people will actually do it, won't they? Yeah, they will. Cheers. Good Bye. Cheers, then. Cheers. Cheers.